the 100 subscriber giveaway is finally over! In the end, we had around 380 unique entries, which is way more than I expected. Thank you all so much for entering. Funny enough, when I tried using a website that's built for picking random winners out of YouTube comments, it ended up picking myself. Which is honestly hilarious, but with everyone's support of this little channel and everyone following me along on this journey, maybe it's not that far off. Thank you all again. Regardless though, I made sure it would work as desired, ensured everyone's names were in there, and I'm pleased to announce the winners of the Celebrations giveaway are... Drumroll please... SFS Pro 444 Gaming at SFS Pro 449 and GamerKid at CaseyHanna1203. I've replied to their comments in the original video to try to give them ways to contact me, as I didn't realize that YouTube doesn't have a way for me to directly reach out to someone or for them to directly reach out to me. Hopefully they see that or this video and get back to me as soon as possible. If they don't get back to me by next week, I'll be forced to draw different winners, which I really do not want to have to do. So please guys, reach out to me, claim your prizes, and once you do, the celebration can come to an end with me opening the leftover boxes. But, what's not coming to an end just yet is today's adventure. I have a Jolteon GX tin from 2019, which means we should have some nice older boosters in here. Now, it was $35 from a little shop on Amazon called Wowzer, and I'll leave a link in the description below to it, as well as other similar tins. Though, I'm not sure if I would really recommend anybody buying one. There are only four boosters in it, and like I say, you're not guaranteed anything. You're not even guaranteed an older tin. So regardless of what you get, I just feel like $35 isn't a good value when nothing is guaranteed. The only thing in this tin that is actually guaranteed is our little friend Jolteon here. And what a beautiful promo card this is. So was it silly for me to buy this? Yeah, absolutely, I think it was. But there's some good packs in here that I actually really want. We have two Cosmic Eclipse, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and X and Y Steam Siege. Now, I really wanted the Cosmic Eclipse because there's some amazing full art Piplup cards, as well as a Piplup and Blastoise GX card, I believe? I really want those. But if you're like me and you're just after specific cards, then buying a tin like this maybe isn't the best choice, because this is effectively a gamble. We'll start with Steam Siege, which is our oldest booster out of them all, and see what we get in our little tin. Now, I believe for Steam Siege, the process after taking the code card away is actually three from the back to the front. So, I think there's no energy card in here, at least that's what I discovered in my little research. So we'll start with this really cool looking Azumarill card. We'll get to Lampent, Ambipom, Dot, Fletchling, Clauncher, Apom, Yanma, a Reverse Hollow Weavile, and Galvanchula. So there is no energy card, like I said, and this is our basic rare in the pack. So, nothing good from Steam Siege, but again, that's kind of the risk you take buying a tin like this. There is nothing guaranteed. All four of these packs could be absolute duds, and then I'm left just disappointed. But, it's always kind of fun to open something old. So we take four from the back in this pack, because there are energy cards, and just see what you can do. So we've got Water Energy, Electabuzz, Simipor, Rotom Dex, Pansage, Stuffle, Meow, Crab Brawler, Charmander, a Reverse Hollow Luna Lana, sorry, Lana Trainer, and Crabominable. Again, nothing special at all. So as I'm displaying here, this tin is not great. 
but a lot of these are cards I've never seen before, because what got me back into Pokemon, co collecting Pokemon cards, was a little Empoleon tin that you can still buy today, I'm pretty sure. It was pretty cool, and I'm really glad that I got back into it, but I am sad that I missed out on something cool like Cosmic Eclipse. So we'll take our four from the back to the front, and see if we can turn our luck around and get anything good at all out of this tin. We've got Energy, Pyroar, Throw, Tangrowth, Eevee, Duskull, Timpole, Flabebe, Alolan Sandshrew, a Reverse Hollow Phantump, and... Fion, not even a hollow at all. That's, this is getting really unfortunate. We are down to our final pack of Cosmic Eclipse. So far, there's nothing here, but maybe it's for the best. It's a lesson learned, right? I really like this pack art though. I love Dialga, Arceus, and Palkia. So we will extract our cards very carefully. Get our code card out of here and take our four from the back to the front. I do hope this card is good, but we'll see. We've got Fire Energy, Draw Energy, Cosmome, Clay, Drillbur, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat, Ducklet, a Reverse Hollow Litleo, and last card, Stoutland. It's a hollow, but really not that good at all. The fact that I got nothing out of here kind of shows that taking a chance on a tin like this just sometimes isn't worth it. It's fun, sure, but it's important to remember that these are always risks, and the only card that I pulled this time was Disappointment. So don't pull out your credit card and start ordering these, thinking that there's going to be one in the next tin. But Seriously, thank you guys all so much for watching and joining me on today's adventure. I had a lot of fun even opening <laughs> this disappointing tin, but at the end of the day, I still have my Jolteon card and the tin itself. So that in itself isn't bad at all. I hope you guys have some great adventures of your own, and don't forget to check out the Collectible Adventures Twitter and Instagram pages linked below. I also recently bought and have been trying out the new Palkia V-Star battle deck. So let me know in the comments if you want a video where I discuss the deck and some different TCG strategies. Until then, I'll see you next time.